Hey, what's up? It's Ty here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe, like, give me a comment. It's good to see you. If you are here, then you are either a parent that is a gamer or you know someone that is a parent that is a gamer. And I have some tips for the, both of you, all of you. So stick around, let's get started. Here we go. First off, I wanna to thank today's sponsor because this is our first video with a sponsor. And so I wanna give a big thanks to today's sponsor, the Game Bud Talking Tom. He is an animatronic buddy that syncs up with your phone or tablet, or you can just tap his head and see what he says. Why do I like gaming so much? It's my window into another world. There's three ways to use them. You can just let him hang out and talk to you. You can use the pairing app. There's a soundboard, he'll tell stories and a bunch of other features. Or you can pair him with the Talking Tom Runner apps, Talking Tom Hero Dash and Talking Tom Gold Run. He will live commentate your gameplay and react if you're doing good or bad, if you die. You're killing it already. Portal time. This guy's got moves. Great gift. And I want to thank Huge Play specifically for sponsoring this video. It's good to be the first sponsor of Tynology Gaming. So I have a full video and unboxing over on the Tynology YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. If you sign up at GameBud.com, the first 10,000 orders will receive a free hero mask and a certificate of authenticity. It tells you which number of the first 10,000 Talking Toms that you got. So I'm number 134 out of 10,000, which is pretty awesome. So check it out if you need a gift. Thanks again. Let me turn off Tom. Dude, let's talk again soon. Okay. You're either a parent or know a parent that you either don't know what to get for them or you don't know what to ask for. And so I'm assuming that you're not gonna go out and buy a new GPU for this person. And if you are, then they are very, very, very lucky and you probably don't need this list. But if you're either on a budget or you want something a little bit different, or just need some inspiration, or you just want something that they'll actually appreciate, hang in. All right, number 10 on my list, merch, gaming shirts, you know, backpacks, all that sort of jazz. We love it. We love to wear it. One caveat, make sure whatever you're buying for the person that they are actually into that specific game or platform because there's nothing more awkward than when you buy something and they're like, oh, I actually hate Mario or something. Imagine it's it's kind of like the same thing as if you had a sports fan and you bought them the wrong team's jersey. So just think of it like that. And there's tons of gaming merch. I'll put some links in the description. Also some really cool designs. There's also some really bad stuff. So use your good eye. All right, number nine, little retro trinkets like this little Tamagotchi. Uh, it's an R2-D2 Tamagotchi, it just came out. And I was like, I haven't had a Tamagotchi in, since I was a kid. I, growing up, I had a Giga Pet that was like Jurassic Park themed. It was my favorite thing ever. And so I'm excited to dive back into this. It's a fun little gift, it's inexpensive. You can find little trinkets like that that are either nostalgic or game related. All right, number eight is retro gaming portable systems. This comes in a whole wide range of options. I'm gonna show you two. The first is the Retroid Pocket. I made a video on it, you can check it out because you can do a lot of a lot of fun stuff with this. It does take some work to get going, but when you get them working, they are really cool to play all the old games that you want, like up to, this one I think goes up to like PS1. At our age, we had all these games in the 90s. So there's these all-in-ones, there's a bunch of them. They're all pretty much the same, just with different software. The other option is to get one of these Retroflag G-Pi cases. This actually has a Raspberry Pi Zero in here. And so you can run RetroPi on here. Again, the setup is a little intense, but if you have someone that is into retro gaming, and like is okay with tinkering around with software or wants to get into some like Raspberry Pi stuff, this is an awesome solution because it's not that expensive. Number seven is a video capture card. 
You can get these in all range of sizes and prices. Everyone swears by the Elgato HD60S. You can get knockoff ones for as cheap as like 50 bucks, sometimes even cheaper. So, uh, but the knockoff ones usually come with some little quirks. I bought three or four of these. I mean, my streams are going good. So if you have someone that wants to capture their footage on of their Switch or their PlayStation, their Xbox, this is the way you do it. Great way to get into streaming, even if you just want to record footage. Number six is a good camera and a good lens. This one's a little bit more expensive depending on what you're looking for, but I use Sony cameras. I'm using an A6300 right here. For my streams, I use an A6000. I'm using a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens here, and I usually use my 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. If you watch eBay and you watch some of the other sites and you take your time, you can find them for like under 500 bucks. If you wanna get into photography of your games, if you wanna get into doing this, if you wanna get into streaming, I highly recommend using a, a nice camera with a nice lens. Number five is a new controller, maybe a special edition, something that uh, that they don't have. So like a black, all black PS5 controller or the Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons, stuff like that. Xbox makes a ton of special edition controllers if they're an Xbox gamer. I really want that Forza Horizon 5 controller special edition. Everyone in my Discord keeps buying it and it's making me want it because I don't have any special edition Xbox controllers. Number four are collectibles and like, New collectibles is what I'm specifically referring to. If they want to get into collecting, so like a good example are the uh, Game & Watch from Nintendo. If they're into the retro Mario and Zelda, I haven't even opened these, but I'm, I love them. This is a dangerous slippery slope is Amiibo, but they hold their value. And if you want to get into something like that, do it. Nintendo's great at putting out collectible items or like, oh, this could have been in the merch thing, but like my Zelda mug. Number three, old games and hardware. This is another touchy one. So you have to make sure if you're buying old games, you have to make sure that, that they have the hardware to play it. Also, you don't want to start them on a on a bad course of a console that are, all the games are really expensive. Don't do that unless you want to. So like you can find games for cheap. So I, I started buying some Famicom, Super Famicom games all really cheap and i bought a super famicom just because i think it's really cool to have that type of stuff i like the retro nostalgia of it so some places to look for retro games is if you have a retro game store in your area talk to them most of the people that run those are really nice and they want to help out with some you know tips and tricks the other places if you're looking online are shop goodwill and obviously ebay just do your research. Make sure it's a, either a console that has like nostalgic value to them or something that they have. Say they don't have their original NES anymore. Those aren't that expensive now. Number two, a good headset. If you subscribe, you've probably seen my video on the SteelSeries Arctis 3s. Uh, these are my my daily drivers still to this day. They're not, they're not that expensive. I think I got these for like $55 and they sound good. They're a little weak in the low end. I made a video on them. So if you haven't, I'll link my video of the full review. Fantastic for gaming, not for music listening. They are wired, but that's not a problem for me because I either use my Switch or I sit at my desk, especially if, it, if you have babies or something, or they have babies. Playing with a good headset makes all the difference. Okay, number one. And this is kind of a cop out, but let me explain. Number one are actual video games. The gamer in your life, or if you're the gamer, you know that we play games for the games. Now, don't just get any any game. There are some games that you will literally be unleashing a chore onto your recipient. It's like getting a puppy or something. Like, you know, you don't always want to do that if they don't want that. So I have a video about that up there because some games are really long. And the other thing is know who you're buying for. If there's a game that they definitely 100% want and they just have been like putting it off or anything, sometimes that's a good good thing to just be like, hey, I got it. I knew you wanted it. Obviously, make sure you're buying on the right platform and everything. Maybe talk to their friends, see if there's a game that everyone was planning on buying. You can kind of preempt that or if there's a game that they kind of missed out on that they have been wanting to play. But again, like I said with the merch, make sure that it's something that they're into. Make sure that you understand the genres that they play. And I do have a fun video 
a link where you know some people are digital only but you there's still creative ways that you can gift games to people who prefer digital games and still make it meaningful the the amount of effort that you put into it that will come through the person that you're buying for if this is some a major part of their life make sure to be a part of it like lean into it and appreciate what they their passions are just like if it was anything else because it is it it's 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 real it's it's part of our lives and something that we all care a lot about if you're watching this as a gaming parent you know that putting in that effort will pay dividends forever and it'll strengthen your relationship whether it's like a relationship or a friendship or whatever this is their passion embrace the passion good luck with your gift giving if you have any questions or you need any tips or anything leave a comment below i'll be replying to everything have a good weekend and i'll see you guys later cheers all right number one this is kind of a cop out but let me explain i'm just saying oh i didn't even bring any hold up